Hey there, good looking. Join me for some gentle stretches for your shoulders and your back. No equipment is necessary. However, if you are on a hard surface, you may want a mat since we are on the mat for the entire session. And this is also day 20 of our unstoppable challenge. So this is your recovery day, guys. All right, let's go get started. All right, let's just start in an easy cross-legged position. If this is irritating for your knees, your low back, feel free to pop your hips up by sitting on a pillow or even sitting on a chair if you have one close by. Just wanna get a few breaths and get us centered for where we are at right now. If you'd like, I invite you to close your eyes. Hands resting easy on the thighs. Stack the vertebrae of the spine nice and long ears over shoulders, chin centered. Taking a big inhale through the nose, feeling the belly expand, the air going into the back. And then exhale through the mouth. As you breathe in, being aware that the shoulders aren't lifting. We want that breath to go down, down into the lungs, down into the belly. And exhale. Do a couple more times. Feeling seat on the ground or the chair, maybe the air against the skin, and just giving yourself permission to be present in this moment here. If your eyes were closed, open them, gentle gaze, moving into a child's pose position taking the big toes together and opening the knees, I find that that gives me some room to drop my belly down. And then as we do, bring the arms down by your side, palms up. Opening up your back here. If you're unable to get the head or the forehead down to your ground, Maybe grab whatever you have handy, be it a yoga block, to a pillow, to a blanket, to build your ground up. Letting your legs absorb the weight of your upper body. Releasing any tension you may be holding in the face. Or how about the hands? Just let those fingers open, gently curl. There's no effort in the arms. Everything is just sinking down towards the ground. Bring the hands in front now. Lift the head up and walk the fingers forward, even tenting the fingers slightly. The arms are mat width. Now in here, you may not be able to drop your head all the way down. What we wanna do is feel the stretch happening through the side of the body, armpits, shoulders, elbows are off the ground. Now emphasizing the left side of the body, take the left hand and place it on top of the right. Press that left hip away and maybe even walk that right hand further away.
a lot of our shoulder movement is dictated by the length of our lats, which are the big muscles down the sides of the back. This is a nice way to open them up, get some more movement in those lats. So the end result comes to a healthier shoulder for you. One more breath. Let's walk the arms to the other side. Now we've got that right hand on top of left. Let's push that right hip away. Oh, feels good. Breathe into that right side of body. Maybe just let the side of the cheek rest on the inside of that right arm. Couple more breaths here. And come on up into tabletop. Wrists are under shoulders, knees are apart underneath hips. Separate the fingers, grip the mat with your fingertips. Inhale, allow the low back to sag and the shoulders to pull away from the ears. And then exhale and tuck the tailbone under and push the ground away. Gently moving through the spine's range of motion and using our breath to connect with that. You can take it as exaggerated as you want or keep the range of motion subtle. It's whatever you're feeling you need right now. And to center. Keep the hands and knees here. Left hand now light behind the left ear. Let's bring that left elbow under the body so it touches the inside of the right and then rotate it and try to point it up towards the ceiling. Let's do it again. Working into the T-spine and shoulder here. We want elbow to touch inside of elbow and then rotate and try to get the elbow to point up to the ceiling as we follow the elbow with our gaze. One more. Now plant this hand and take this left one and thread it now right under the body for thread the needle side ahead on the mat. Maybe you even open the knees up a bit more on this. Now you got a couple options with the right arm. You can straighten it in front of you or you can walk it around the back and grab onto that left hip. Your palm is up on this arm that's on the ground. Sitting back on the heels. Stretching into the back of this left shoulder. And then if you've got that arm walked around the back, perhaps feeling it in the front of that right shoulder. Couple more breaths. And untwist yourself back to tabletop, knees back under hips, wrists under shoulders, fingers spread, right hand now behind the ear. Let's bring that right elbow to inside left elbow and then rotate up, follow it with your gaze. T-spine extension, flexion here. One more. And then open the knees up. Thread that right arm under now, palm facing up, side of head hits the mat. Left arm maybe walks forward or walks around the body, now grabbing onto that right thigh. If you want more of a stretch, you can slide this bottom arm further away from you, dropping just the side of the shoulder and the arm onto your mat.
and twist yourself slowly. Bring the elbows on the mat in front of you. Knees are still open. Place your palms in a prayer position. Drop the head down and now bring the hands so that they rest on the back of the neck. And then walk the elbows forward more, creating some more extension in that T-spine. That mid-back area can get so tight on us and it can create a lot of havoc into our shoulders. In this position, we're dropping the chest down, getting that extension in that area around the mid-back and then creating more, if you want, by walking the elbows forward. Hands stay in prayer, resting light behind the head or neck. Thumb stays back. Two more breaths. Release the arms first down to the ground and then come on up just onto the knees. Take the right leg slightly ahead. Lunge into it to release into the hip flexor which will help us with that low back. And then to further increase the stretch for the shoulders, place the hand light behind the neck and then lean away. So once again, we're creating that side body stretch for our lats, now getting it into the tricep as well. Lunging forward to open up that left hip flexor. If there's any discomfort in that back knee, double up your mat. If you have a pillow nearby, maybe throw that underneath. Just going to stay here for a few breaths as you hold any of the stretches and if you feel like it again this is only if you're really feeling the need to or want to you can take it a bit deeper let's release the arm first bring it straight up and then circle it behind the body very slowly, really articulating the range of motion here. Nice, let's do the other side. Right knee on mat, left leg ahead. We'll lunge forward so that left knee and ankle lines up. Go to my side so you can see me. We want to tighten this glute, and now take that right arm behind the head, walk it behind as best you can, and then lean away slightly. We'll lean back a bit. Once again, if you feel like it, you can take the stretch deeper, but also give yourself permission just to feel it and be good with that. Use stretching work, yoga work, mobility work as a way to connect deeper with yourself and your body. Let's release this arm so it's straight up in the air first and then very slowly circle it behind you. Nice. Have a seat. Take your right leg straight out, back and knee presses into the mat, foot is flexed, inhale up. Exhale, fold forward, but we want to lead with the chest and not round the back. So working into the hamstring, which can also play into our low back. Tight hamstrings, tight hip flexors, all those can create low back pain. Your gaze is just past the toes. And your only job is to just sit here and feel it and breathe. Release the muscles in that front of the thigh. Maybe taking it a little deeper as you hold it. And walk yourself up. Let's take the other leg straight out. Once again, we're pressing the back of the knee into the mat, flexing the foot, inhale up, sitting tall. 
exhale, fold. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Gaze is at top. We're not letting the head drop. We're looking past the toes, past the top of your mat. Feeling that stretch in the back of your leg and now actively releasing the quadricep. And breathe. Release, easy cross-legged position again, like how we started. Bring your hands behind you, tent them, walk them back, and then open up the chest and shoulders and look and gaze up to the ceiling. Nice, easy front of body stretch. Two more breaths. Release. Staying in this seated position. Again, perhaps popping your hips up on a pillow if that feels better. Let's take your left arm straight across, slightly bent, bent in the elbow and press in. Stacking that vertebrae. Good, now keep the stretch. Now let's bring that elbow at 90 degrees and then press in a little further. Release that left arm, bring it behind you, tenting the fingers again, and then rotate your body away from that shoulder. Look over the other one, just stretching into the front shoulder, a little bit into the pec. But really lead with the chin, looking over that right shoulder of yours. Due to a lot of our daily activities being so forward focused, we can really internally rotate into that shoulder. So doing something like this kind of helps counterbalance that. Let's go back to center. All right, other arm. Just a slight bend in the elbow to start out with. Thumb is pointed up, press in. All right, now bend the elbow at 90 and press in a bit more. Let's release that arm, tent the fingertips, walk the hand behind you, and now turn away from that right side, looking over and leading with the chin, that other shoulder. Not allowing the low back to round, we're still nice and tall in the spine. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. I would love to read your comments down below. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and we will see you next workout. Bye.